Hey guys, I'm going to take a minute to show you one of my uh, black African house snakes. This is Nebula. Scientific name on these is Boedon fugilinosis. Um, these guys typically range for about two to two and a half feet for males three to three and a half feet for females though I have heard that they can get up to five feet I've never seen one that big the largest I've personally had was about 40 inches and she was about 15 years old so the black phase is a naturally occurring morph there are other morphs uh, such as albino and hypo and uh, a few other ones. There's also naturally occurring browns and reds and everything in between. And even some that are almost greenish. There are several species of house snakes. Um, they're often mistakenly said to be in the colubrid family. They are not colubrids. They're actually in the Lemprophis family. This is the same family as the Madagascan giant hognose snake. They're actually more closely related to the Elapids, which is the cobra family, than they are colubrids. But they are non-venomous, harmless constrictors. I say harmless. Uh, they're harmless to people. They, they are much stronger than other snakes I've kept of similar size. They're much stronger than corn snakes. Uh, from looking at skulls, uh, skull images, they seem to have slightly larger teeth that are not quite as curved as the corn snake teeth. And even one this size will draw blood if it does bite. Although they are fairly easy to work with. Known for being quite docile with minimal effort. Care, the care is very similar to a corn snake. Um, keep them on a dry substrate with a humid hide and a dry hide. Or substrate deep enough they can burrow under. Temperatures uh, anywhere from mid 70s to low 90s. As you can see, their skin is highly iridescent. And that's not just with the black ones, the reds and browns, and all of them are all the same with the iridescence. They also tend to change color at night just a little bit, they tend to lighten up. So even the black ones will lighten from black to um, gray with patches of almost a lavender color. I'm going to pause this because she's about to fall. Now she was born this past summer. And while they do start out very, very small, uh, some of them aren't even big enough to eat newborn pinky mice right away and you have to cut the pinky mice up for them um, they grow really fast once they do start to eat females can typically breed around 30 inches while uh, actually 24 to 28 inches and males can typically breed around 18 inches and they do breed year round with no brumation necessary Sorry, I had to pause it again. They can breed, produce multiple clutches off of one copulation, one breeding. And they can produce up to seven clutches a year pretty easily. Anywhere from seven or eight eggs all the way up to 15 or 20 for larger females. So if you do breed them, you actually have to be careful to make sure you feed the females plenty to keep up with egg production 
and try to be careful not to overbreed them. Uh, typically, if a female produces seven clutches in a year, I'd give her the next year off. And that's as much a break for her as it is for me because that's a lot of baby house snakes. I'm not currently breeding them, but I have in the past. This one and my other two black house snakes came from Kayla Bell at Queen of Kings. I'll post a link to that in the description. Um, the color changing at night is really, really hard to capture on video or picture because it almost, almost as soon as they see light, they start to darken up. Let's see if I can get a good shot of her head for you. Now for a split second. These make great beginner snakes. If you have any other questions about them, want to know anything else or see more of them, just let me know in the comments. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day.